Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Welcome to Power Yoga Mind and Body. My name is Adrian Reed. Our theme for today is Vinyasa Flow. So when you're ready guys, go ahead and step on up to the front of your mats. We're going to do a lot of work with warrior and triangle in this series. When you're ready, go ahead and take a big step back with your left leg. So right leg is forward, left leg is back. We're going to float right up into warrior one. So bend your front knee. Your front knee is over your front ankle. Square your hips toward the front edge of your mat. Arms long and strong. Shoulder blades are back and down. And we're going to go three more deep breaths here. As you're here, try and sink into your lunge. Engage the muscles in your leg, especially in that back leg. Make sure the back edge of your back foot is not rolling upward. Beautiful. Exhale. Let's float right into warrior two. So arms open wide, lengthen fingertip to fingertip. Shoulder blades are back and down again. Roll the inside edge of that front knee forward. So you're opening through your hips, strengthening through your legs. Let's go three more deep breaths there. Looking good, Steph. Beautiful. From there, go ahead and straighten up your front leg. Your hands are going to stay in that position. We're going to go right to triangle. Inhale, extend your right hand as far forward as it will go. Exhale, you can reach, da reach down and grab your shin, your ankle, your foot or put your hand on the floor, left hand floats up toward the ceiling. If you need stability, look downward. If you're feeling real good, you can look up at your upper fingertips. We're lengthening lower hand to upper fingertips. We're lengthening tailbone to the crown of your head. In this pose, imagine there's a wall behind you. You're trying to get your hips flat against that wall and your shoulder blades flat against that wall. Two more deep breaths there, so that's a nice long hold. Doing great, everybody. And then after your second breath, go ahead and bend your right knee, your front knee, and shift your weight to your front leg. We're gonna kick your left leg up, extend your hand further forward. We're gonna float right up into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. If you need stability, continue to look downward. If you feel real good, look up at your upper fingertips. You may notice the further toward the right edge of your mat that you bring your right hand, the more stability you get. If you have your hand and foot in a tightrope, it's a little bit harder to balance. We're going two more breaths there. Looking good, everybody. Try and stack that left hip on top of your right. Looking good. Exhale, go ahead and bend that knee, drop that back leg down, and we're gonna draw your torso up. Come on up, legs are straight. We're gonna shift your hands to spear, so left hand's gonna come forward, right hand is gonna come behind. You're lengthening fingertip to fingertip. So you're extending your right hand back, your left hand forward, trying to shine your sternum toward the wall. Beautiful, let's go ahead and float right to revolve triangle from here, Parvrita Trikonasana. So left hand floats down to your shin, to your ankle, to the floor, to the mat, whatever you can reach. If you feel like you need a little more work, you can bring your left hand on the outside of your right foot. If you need stability, look downward. If you're feeling real good, look up at your upper fingertips. Beautiful, let's go two more breaths here, looking good. Try and square through those hips. And then after your second breath, go ahead and bend that right knee again. Shift your weight forward, extend your left hand further forward. We're going for the gusto. Let's go for a revolved half moon. So once again, your hips are nice and square. You're extending nice and long. Heel to the crown of your head. You're lengthening lower hand to upper fingertips. Let's go three more breaths there. If you need stability, look down. If you're feeling real good, look up at those upper fingertips. 
When you are ready, go ahead and bend that front knee, drop your back foot down. We're gonna keep your front knee bent, draw your torso up, spear one more time with that knee bent. So you're looking back at your right fingertips, extending forward with your left fingertips, sinking down with your lunge. And then exhale, go ahead and release your hands to your waist. Step on up to the front of your mat, shake that out a little bit. Beautiful flow, nice job everybody. Same thing, other side when you're ready. So let's take a big step back with your right leg and let's float back up into Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Again, front knee is over your front ankle. Square your hips toward the front edge of your mat. Arms long and strong, shoulder blades back and down. Sink into that lunge, engage the muscles in your legs, especially in that back leg. Make sure the back edge of your back foot is rolling downward. We're going one more breath here, looking good everybody. And then exhale, go ahead and float open into warrior two. So lengthening fingertip to fingertip, shoulder blades are back and down. Make sure you're rolling the front edge of that front knee forward. So opening through your hips, externally rotating your thighs. Make sure your shoulders are right over your hips. We're going two more deep breaths there. Nice job, sinking into your lunge, engaging the muscles in your legs, especially in that back leg, rolling the back edge of that back foot down. And let's go ahead and inhale, straighten up your left leg, and we're gonna float right into triangle. Left hand comes as far forward as possible, and then drop that left hand to your shin, to your ankle, to the floor, whatever is good for you. Look right up at your right fingertips. Trikonasana triangle, again, Imagine there's a wall behind you. So your hips are flat against that imaginary wall. Your shoulder blades are flat against that imaginary wall. If you can, even shine your head a little bit behind your heart. If you need stability, keep looking down. If you feel good, take a look up at those fingertips. We're going two more breaths there. Looking good, everybody. So a little bit of a longer hold again in triangle on this side. Fabulous, Kim. If you're at home, you can also use a block under that front hand. From there, I'd like you to go ahead and bend your left knee, shift your weight forward, and extend your left hand further forward. We're gonna float up into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. You're trying to stack your hips, so your right hip comes on top of your left. Your heel is up at hips height. You're lengthening lower hand to upper fingertips. If you need stability, look downward. If you feel good, look at your upper hand. You may also notice the further you extend your hand toward the left edge of your mat, the more stability you gain there as well. Inhale, go ahead and bend that knee, drop that back leg back, straighten up your leg, draw your torso up, come on up into spear. So you're gonna shift your right hand forward, left hand behind. So legs are straight here, lengthening fingertip to fingertips. Try and shine your sternum to the wall behind you. Beautiful. And let's go one more deep breath there. And let's float right, right to Parvrita Trikonasana, revolve triangle. So right hand's gonna float down to your shin, to your ankle, to your foot, to the floor. If you want an extended stretch, you can drop your hand to the outside of that left foot. Hips are nice and square, lengthening tailbone to the crown of your head, lengthening lower hand to upper fingertips. Looking good, Kim. Looking good, everybody. One more breath there, beautiful. And we're gonna go ahead and bend your left knee and shift your left hand further forward. We're going for revolved half moon, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. Again, hips are nice and square, lengthening lower hand to upper fingertips. If you need balance, look downward. If you feel good, look up at your upper hand. Lengthening heel to the crown of your head. We're going two more breaths there. That's beautiful, Stephanie. Looking good, Aaron. Looking good, everybody. After your second breath, bend your left knee, drop that back foot down, keep that left knee bent, draw your torso up so you're sinking down into your lunge, extending fingertip to fingertip into spear. We're going two more deep breaths there. And then after your second breath, release your hands to your waist, step on up to the front of your mat. Nice job, everybody. We're gonna do a little bit of work in a nice deep lunge here. So when you're ready, take a big step back with your left foot. So we're going raised runner's lunge pretty much to start. Make sure your front knee is over your front ankle. Your hips are sinking down toward the mat. So go ahead and drop your hands to the mat, guys. We'll go raise runners for a moment or two. You got it. Hips are sinking down long through your back leg. Drive your left heel nice and far back. Lengthen through your torso. We're gonna go one more breath and raise runners. 
And after that breath, inhale, sweep your torso up. Hands are going to come into namaste, into prayer. So you're going to stay in that deep lunge. Let's just go five breaths there. See if you can find that balance. Keep your hips sinking downward. If you're having trouble balancing, you can drop your hands back down to the mat and bring your left heel a little further, your left foot a little closer toward the left side of your mat. From there, let's go a nice simple twist here. So right elbow on the inside of your right thigh, left elbow up toward the ceiling. Try and bring your sternum toward your thumb so you're twisting your torso, not just your hands. We're going four more deep breaths there. So Kim, draw that elbow up for me that way. Exactly, you notice the difference that makes through your shoulders? And Diane, you can bring the palms of your hands together there. That's the way. Inhale, come on back up to center. Sweep your torso up, hands go into prayer. And let's go the same thing, other direction. So left elbow on the outside of your right thigh, prayer twist again. Once again, draw your sternum towards your thumb so you're twisting through your torso, not just through your hands. You're looking up at the ceiling past your right elbow, palm to palm. When you're ready, give me one more deep breath there. Aaron's saying, I'm ready, man. And come on out, release. Come on back to center, hands to prayer. We're going to look up, take a nice arch back. So leave your hands in prayer, Steph, and come on up. I see what you're doing. <laughs> Exhale, go ahead and release that arch. Drop your hands down to the mat. Bring, bring your right leg behind. And swap it up. Left leg comes forward. So let's keep it moving. Flow today. Front knee over front ankle. Let's hang out a couple uh, breaths here in raised runner's lunge. Nice and long through the right leg. Sink that right heel toward the back of the wall. Nice and long through the torso. So draw the top of your head toward the wall across from you. One more breath there. So you're in a nice deep lunge here. From there, inhale. I want you to sweep your hands into a prayer position. So draw your torso up. Come on up into prayer. As a reminder, again, if this is too difficult for you to balance, drop your hands back down to the mat and bring your right foot a little closer toward the right edge of your mat. Two more breaths here. So find that balance. Sink deeply into those hips. Work through the legs. After your second breath, let's go for a nice easy twist here. So left elbow goes on the inside of your left thigh. Beautiful. Once again, you're looking up at the ceiling past your right elbow. You're trying to draw your sternum toward your thumb. So you're twisting through your torso, not just through your hands. And you're looking up at the ceiling past that right elbow. So Aaron, you almost want to draw that elbow up a little bit. That's exactly where I was going to bring you. Beautiful. One more breath there, looking good. Sink into that lunge. Work through your legs as well as through your upper body. And if that's too much, drop that lower knee. Exactly, Diane. When you're ready, inhale, sweep up to center. Give me two good breaths in center. So sink into that lunge. Hands are in a prayer position. Challenging balance, strength, stamina, flexibility. Beautiful. Right elbow on the outside of your left thigh. Prayer twist once again. Once again, bring your sternum towards your thumb so you're not just working through the arms, you're working through the upper body as well. Look up at the ceiling past your left elbow, your palm to palm, and using those arms effectively to get that twist. Also working strongly through the legs. Two more breaths there, looking good everybody. And after your second breath, inhale, come on back to center. Hands go to prayer. We're gonna look up, take a nice arch back. Give me two more breaths there. We're sinking deeply into your lunge, arching back nicely, working back, working legs, working upper body. Exhale, float your hands down to the mat. I want you to just step up with your right foot. So step up to the front edge of your mat and come on up to a standing position from there. We're gonna move to a hip stretch. So we're gonna vinyasa down to that hip stretch, guys. So everybody's up toward the front edge of your mats. We're gonna inhale, extend up nice and long, heels to fingertips. And exhale, fall forward, hinge at the waist, forward fold. Nose to knees if you can. Inhale, look up and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, walk or jump back to a plank position. Just lower down slowly, take your time, elbows by your rib cage. The slower you go, the more you work through your arms. Inhale, roll forward into a nice easy up dog. Try and open through your heart, roll your shoulder blades back and down and tuck that tailbone. And then inhale, if you wanna throw a push up, definitely do and float on back, down dog, beautiful. We got five good breaths here in down dog. 
So I'll let you warm up a little bit in down dog before we throw that hip series in and arm series in and down dog. So feel free to move a little bit if you'd like to. You can rock your knees back and forth. You can inhale, rise up on your toes. Exhale, sink your heels down into the mat. And let's go one more breath with that movement and then we'll start moving from here together. When you're ready, square your body off. We're gonna inhale, kick your right heel up toward the ceiling. So I want your whole body in down dog with the exception of that right leg. Your hips are nice and square. Your underarms are floating down toward the mat. From there, we're gonna go ahead and open up through your right side. So I want you to bend your right knee and bring your right heel toward your left hip or shoulder. You're gonna look underneath your right underarm. So you're twisting all the way down your side from your right pinky finger all the way up to that right knee. Looking good, everybody. Give me two more deep breaths there. Nice extension through that side. Nice twisting through your torso, working through the obliques. If you can, keep that left heel sunk down into the mat. Wonderful. Exhale, go ahead and straighten up your leg. Drive your heel up toward the ceiling. Let's go for arms. We're gonna inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, fall forward, chaturanga. Pow, that's a good one. Two good breaths there. See if you can keep that leg up as high as it'll go. If it's too much, drop your leg, no worries. Inhale, roll forward into up dog, drop that leg down. Exhale, push up if you'd like to, float on back, down dog. Beautiful, we got five deep breaths here again. So that series is wonderful for working through your glutes, working through your hips, and then in the end, working through arms and shoulders. Feel free to move in this pose. We're gonna go one more good breath here in down dog. And then we're gonna do that same hip and arm series on the other side. When you're ready, left heel kicks up toward the ceiling. So I want you to keep your body square in down dog with the exception of that left leg. So hips are square, underarms are floating downward. From there, go ahead and bend your left knee. Left heel goes toward your right hip or shoulder. Roll and look underneath your left underarm. So you're opening once again, all the way from that left pinky finger, all the way up your left side and twisting open. Working through glutes, working through hips, a little bit through groin there. We're going two more breaths there, looking good. Nice, Jason. After your second breath, exhale, straighten up your legs, square your body off, look between your hands on an inhale, exhale, fall forward, chaturanga. Give me two good breaths there. Try and keep that leg up as high as it'll go. Wow, that's hard in the arms. Inhale, roll forward up dog. Nice job, everybody. Exhale, push up if you'd like to, float on back down dog. We're just gonna go one deep breath here in down dog. I want you to inhale, look between your hands and exhale, walk or jump your feet up to a seated position. So I want you guys to come to a seated position. You got it. When you're ready, we're gonna do a little bit of work with wide angle. So you guys may need to stagger a little bit so you're not hitting one another. You're gonna do wide angle toward the front edge of your mat, guys. So when you're ready, go ahead and just sit down in a nice dandasana, so staff position to start. We're gonna do a little bit of work with archer here. So we're gonna grab your right big toe with your two fingers, put your, big, your thumb on your toenail, and same thing with your left hand. If you can reach your left toes, great. If not, you can hold your thigh or your shin. Inhale, we're gonna drive that right heel up and behind. You got it, this is called Archer. We're going three more breaths there. Beautiful Jason, looking good Kim, Diane, everybody. So really working through your hip flexors, really working through your glutes, extending through your legs. After your third breath, release that. And we're gonna open up, see if you can keep bound wherever you are, open up into a wide angle. And let's lean forward into a bound wide angle stretch. If you can, grab your big toes. If not, grab your shins or your thighs and just fall forward as much as you can. Looking good, Erin, that's fabulous. Jason, let me come give you a hand there too. Two more breaths here, looking good, you look good. After your second breath, release that, bring your legs toward the front edge of your mat, and we're gonna go archer on the other side, so keep your toes bound if you can. Left heel comes up towards your left ear. So grab that left big toe, thumb on your big toenail, draw that heel up towards your ear, 
You can grab your thigh, your shin, your foot, whichever feels best for you. You're working through your left hip flexor, left glutes, left leg. We're going two more good breaths there, looking good. Wonderful, exhale, go ahead and release. We're gonna draw your legs together, so keep your toes bound if you can, or you can grab the back of your calves. We're gonna float right on up into boat here. So Navasana, you've got your big toes or the back of your calves. See if you can bend your elbows slightly if you have your big toes and draw your chin up towards your legs so it helps to lengthen through your lower back. We're going three more breaths there. Wonderful. After your third breath, we're going to open up into a nice wide angle step. I'm going to move back so I don't hit you here. Beautiful. And let's go a couple deep breaths there. So really working through balance, try and extend long through your legs. And again, you can have the back of your calves if that's too much work for you. Looking good. Exhale, I want you to roll back. So when you're ready, you're gonna do just a slight pelvic tilt. Watch where you are on your mats, guys. Go ahead and roll back. Toes are gonna get all the way to the mat, beautiful. When you get there, go ahead and draw your legs together into plow. And let's go a couple deep breaths there, beautiful. You can release your hands down flat on the mat if that feels better for you. And then I'd like you to go ahead and bring your hands to your lower back and slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, go ahead and roll out of that. Really take your time. Let this be as much about the journey as it is about the destination. When your hips hit the mat, I want you to drive your heels up toward the ceiling and slowly to your count of 10, lower your heels all the way down to the mat. Once you get down there, if your hands were underneath your lower back, you can release your hands out from underneath. Go ahead and bend your knees, pull them in towards your chest, rock side to side, gently massage that lower back. Looking good. From there, we're gonna do a little bit of work with abs. So when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and interlace your hands behind your back. Sorry, not, not interlace, just protect your hips and tailbone. So tuck your hands behind your lower back, bad explanation there, and drive your heels up toward the ceiling. We're gonna do a little bit of sweeping motion with your legs in ab work. So we're gonna inhale, I want you to lower your heels down toward the mat, leave them about two inches off the mat, and then exhale, open up into a nice wide angle. And then inhale together and back up, you got it. So well, let's go with that breath again. Inhale, sweep down and open up and exhale together and back up. And let's get some more of those movements in. Inhale, sweep down and open, and exhale together and back up. Inhale, sweep down and open, exhale together, back up. Get a couple more in. Inhale, sweep down and open. Sorry, Jace, exhale together, back up. I'm trying to go somewhere I don't hit anybody. Inhale, sweep down and open. Let's do two more. Exhale together, back up. And inhale, sweep down and open. The more you flex your feet and straighten your legs, the more work you get there. Exhale together, back up. Last one, inhale, sweep down and open. Give me two breaths there. So try and keep your heels up off the mat in that wide angle position, beautiful. And then exhale together and back up. Slowly to your count of 10, lower your heels all the way down to the mat. Let's get a nice, relaxing stretch here in Shavasana. When you're ready, you can release your hands out from underneath. Steph, you can scoot on your mat if you need to. Sometimes you tend to jiggle a little bit in that, so move to where you need to. Get ready for Shavasana. Get nice and comfortable, guys. The final pose of class is the most important in yoga, called Shavasana. This pose is what you've worked the entire class to achieve an exploration of stillness in action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open. Bring your hands by your sides with your palms upward. Close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thank you for your time and hard work today. 
Namaste. If you'd like to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed. Thank you. 